Hey everyone, today we're looking at all the FNAF news from the past week. There's actually quite a bit. The first thing we got was a new book. It's a choose your own adventure book, and it's a prequel to FNAF 1 set in the same location. The official description is... Return to where it all began in this interactive prequel to the very first Five Nights at Freddy's game. You the reader are the security guard and you've got five nights, or is it six, to survive Freddy, Chica, Bonnie, and Foxy's that try to wipe you out. With over 25 possible endings and two difficulty settings, this one-of-a-kind innovative novel's uniquely entertaining experience for any Freddy fan. I don't know how they added difficulty settings to a book, but I guess we'll see. In other book news, next year we'll get the first graphic novel novel for the Tales of the Pizzaplex. It'll include the stories Under Construction, Cthidophobia, and Haps. This book will release on March 5th, 2025. We have some exciting merch news this week. First off, Hot Topic's now selling this little Sodoroni water bottle. It's really small and kinda useless, but if you want to pretend you're drinking meat, then maybe it's for you. Also, there's been some new U2's reveals. We got pictures of the redesigned Ruin Chica that we saw prototype art for a few months ago. It looks so much better than the original design. The eyes in Endo look especially great. We also got our first look at some of the FNAF movie wave with the Torture Freddy head. I hope this is part of a larger figure set though, maybe it's Mike in the chair. Also, a U2 staff member said they reached out to the Living Tombstone about making figures of them. Some U2s are shipping early, including Ruined Monty, Ruined Roxy, and Glitchtrap. The only game news is a new screenshot of the upcoming Into the Pit game. It was revealed in a fake ad for Pizza made by the game developer Mega Cat Studios. You can see Jeff inside the magic ball pit and Oswald outside next to him. This is our first update on the game in a while, so I hope it releases soon. So that's all the news. Let me know what you're most excited for. Make sure to subscribe if you want to, and thanks for watching.